Hello everyone, and welcome to Retail Archaeology. Today we'll be taking a leisurely stroll down Mill Avenue near the ASU campus in Tempe, Arizona, because I want to show you all a little spot that I've known about for a long time, but I'm not sure how many people are actually aware it's here. It goes by a few names. You can see this sign here says the Courtyard Shops, but most places and things actually refer to it as the Mill Avenue Shops. And as you can see, there's a little entrance here that goes into a little really awesome outdoor courtyard shopping area. There's the old face masks required sign. And what's cool about this place is there's lots of little fountains around. Unfortunately, this one is not working. It was working the last time I was here. Tucked back in this little courtyard area is all kinds of neat little shops and beauty salons. There's even an escape the room place back here. And the other thing I like about it is it's really, really quiet except for the sound of fountains, which here's another one of the fountains that's actually working. One of the things I really do love about this spot though is how quiet it is and how little foot traffic there is through it. However, it does kind of confuse me how all of these places stay in business when there's so little foot traffic that seems to come through here. This place is kind of like an English muffin too. There's all kinds of nooks and crannies and stairways and places to explore. Now, this shop here on the left, that B102 building, I'm going to cut to some footage from an old live stream I did back in April 2019, so I apologize for the video quality, but this was a place called The Graffiti Shop, and it's now closed, unfortunately. I'm not quite sure when it closed, but it was open in April 2019 when we did this live stream. We can take a peek inside and you can see why it's called The Graffiti Shop. It's kind of a neat little underground, literally, head shop slash punk store. They've got all kinds of cool t-shirts and or had all kinds of cool t-shirts and bumper stickers. Here's a look at the back of the graffiti shop. And that door there, when I was in high school, I'm pretty sure that used to be an entrance that you could use to get into the store. You can see they've got a uh, neon sign here. And we can take a peek through the glass and you can see even more weirdness. Looks like a old area rug hanging there. I think this is uh, right behind the sales counters is where we're looking at right here. That's a really interesting mannequin. I do remember they had all kinds of weird mannequins around the store. But yeah, you can see the place was a mess. It, it's been here for a long time, uh, at least since the 90s when I was in high school and we used to come here and poke around while we were hanging out on Mill Avenue. But let's go back to present time and uh, take a look at more of this cool little area. I've never been in that flow shop store before. I should go check that out sometime. Look at how green this courtyard is too. I love all of the plants, the palm trees and everything. The entire aesthetic of this place is great. But you'll notice throughout this video, I'm, there's a lot of long continuous shots and really there's just nobody walking through here. It's really bad now. Usually I would see like one or two or, you know, three people walking through here, but with the whole pandemic situation, it seems like it's really just killed the foot traffic through here. Here's a little eating area for this uh, restaurant here. See, I'm not sure if these places are out of business or if they're just closed on Sunday. I did take a look at the website for this place and it doesn't list any vacancies open for lease, which I know isn't true because the graffiti shop is gone. Maybe they're still just kind of cleaning that store up. It was a mess. But you can see there's another little nook down there with uh, two more businesses. And then this, this waterfall here, this is probably my favorite fountain because it makes the most noise. It's like your own little personal courtyard back here. Here's a look at that waterfall fountain from the top. I've gone up the stairs here, so you can see there's a little pool and fountain area, and then it goes over the cliff down to the waterfall. You get a pretty uh, view of the whole courtyard from up here as well. Let's take a look and see uh, what else is up here. It looks like this may be a management office or something. I'm not sure what these are plans for. I don't know if they're getting ready to redevelop this area or what. It's it's really clean and kind of new looking. I'm not sure when the last time this was all remodeled, but it, it looks pretty good. Here's another one of those little crannies. 
It, it doesn't look like any of this stuff is open down here as well. This looks more like office space than retail space. I don't think I'd want to have a store all the way upstairs tucked into this courtyard and then up here. I know this shopping courtyard's been here for a long time because, like I said, I remember seeing it in the 90s when I was in high school, but I don't remember this second floor part. I'm not sure if this is new. It looks newer than the stuff down below. But it's just as quiet and empty up here. It's like there's the electrical shack. I do like all the shade they have up here as well. I filmed this in, in the middle of July, which seems crazy in Arizona. I think it was 114 degrees while I was out here filming. So any amount of shade was welcome. This gate was locked, which seemed kind of weird because this was like kind of convenient parking for this courtyard. I'm not sure what this is down here. It looks like some sort of clothing shop. You can see there's a Supreme shirt there. It's probably one of those consignment clothing stores. But once again, they must be closed on Sundays. Or maybe they're shut down for the pandemic. But most things have opened at this point. Here's a shot I took where I uh, put my camera in the fountain in one of the outlets. Kind of like the, the visual there of the water flowing by. I wish I could have left the audio of the sounds of the fountain in the video, but unfortunately they were piping copyrighted music throughout the courtyard, and I know for a fact if I had left that in it would have triggered copyright on YouTube and gotten the video taken down. Here's a closer look at that waterfall fountain, and the nice thing about this one too is it splashes a little bit, so you kind of got cooled off by some of the water, but really at this point I was so hot I just wanted to stick my head right in the fountain. 114 degrees is ridiculous. I kind of question why I live in the Phoenix area more and more every summer. Here's a closer look into one of the shops. This is a uh, hair extension place, and you can see how small this is. This is one of the tiniest shops I've ever seen. It's like mall kiosk size almost, but it's, it's an enclosed shop. I don't come down to Mill Avenue nearly as much as I did when I was a lot younger, and it's amazing to me how much this area has changed. It's a lot cleaner than I remember it being. I also remember when cruising Mill Avenue in your piece of crap car when you were in high school was a big deal and the thing that everybody did. And I remember when they put an end to that and the police started ticketing people. And it seems like Mill Avenue really changed after that, after the uh, anti-cruising stuff went into effect. It seems like a bad spot for a jewelry store. It's all the way tucked up here where you, you can't see it even from the courtyard. And that is the biggest uh, bougainvillea plant I have ever seen. That thing is huge. It's almost a tree. And if we take a look down here, we can see the first working fountain that we saw in the video. This really is a cool little spot. I, I definitely get dead mall vibes while I'm walking through here and hanging out, even though it isn't technically a shopping mall. Mill Avenue can get really busy and hectic and it's kind of nice to have this little area here where you can just kind of duck into and relax for a little bit, catch your breath, enjoy the silence. While we head out of this courtyard, I just want to remind everybody that if you're subscribed to the channel, make sure and hit that notification bell as well. On some of my most recent videos, I've gotten a lot of comments from people saying they're glad to see that I'm back. I never really stopped uploading weekly videos, so there may be a lot you've missed, so make sure and check those out. But what are your thoughts on the courtyard shops at Mill Avenue? I'd love to know down in the comments below. As always, everyone, thanks for watching. Want to see your name here? Head on over to patreon.com slash retail archaeology to find out how you can help support the channel. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out my uh, little video here on the Mill Avenue shops. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons, and also make sure to follow at the social media links down there because that's the best way to keep up with what's going on with the channel.